Now the passing 6-4 is not only for your tonic. It can be used on other chords as well, in particular the 4 and the 5 it works particularly well on. So I've added here another one. Um, what do we got? We're still in D. It's an extension of the previous one. So uh, we have our D and then our passing 6-4 and then another D chord. And look at what I did here. We go from this F up to this G, A, B. So how can I spot it? How can I spot that this is a, uh, or the, the middle chord is a passing 6-4 chord? Well, let's start by labeling each chord. So this looks awfully like a 4 chord, doesn't it? G, B, D, or sorry, G, D, B, G. So that's a G. So root position, 4 chord. Here we have D, F sharp, A, and then an A in the bass. So that looks awfully like a one chord, actually, but in a 6-4 inversion, that's what it is. And then here we have a G, a B, and a D and a B in the bass. So now we're back to a one six, or sorry, a four six. <clears throat> back to our G chord. Okay, so if we analyzed each chord individually, this is what we end up with. Four, one, six, four, four, six. So when you spot that, you can say, ah, this is probably a passing 6-4 chord. So then a better way to analyze it would be like this. And that's all you need. Same as here. So you analyze it, you find a chord and then a six of a chord on the other side of it. And then on the weak beat, you see a 6-4 chord. The chances are it's a passing 6-4 chord. Cool, so keep an eye out for that passing 6-4 chord to be on the weak beat, uh, sandwiched in between uh, two of the same chord, one in root position and the other one in first inversion.